Daniel Guinness is the co-founder of Beyond Equality. What are you making of these figures, Daniel? Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me here and to speak about such an important issue. Um, my organisation has worked with about 100,000 people, mostly young men and boys, though also men in workplaces. And I've got to say that these figures that have come up don't surprise me. And what we see again and again, when well, what we hear from the organisations that are supporting survivors is just how frequently these stories about someone being harassed or abused yeah. are occurring in our society. And when we're actually working with men within groups, whether it's in a workplace setting or whether it's in a school setting, very quickly when we have conversations about what do they do, what do they see their peers doing, we hear stories about things like um, harassing comments or even people um, touching other people that are quite normalised and quite excused. You know, so you were talking um, just then about these jokes and how maybe they normalise or make it feel like it's okay for someone to consult. But often what's just as important is that they make it that the rest of the group finds it difficult to actually step in and say to that person who's crossing the line, yeah. crossing the line here, you know, you need to stop that behaviour. Is so there a lot, just on that point, Daniel, I'm, I'm you know, as yeah. somebody that talks for a living and advocates free speech, which I think most of us do, of course, but there are responsibilities that come with free speech, da laughing at inappropriate jokes and, you know, joshing about it and talking about how somebody has a lovely, you know, speaking with a, a lexicon of disrespect, shall we say, um, that might not be desirable, but there's a wide difference between somebody who does that and somebody who is a violent rapist, right? And that's, I suppose, what many people listening to this will say. Look, we don't like it if blokes speak like that, but that doesn't make them people who are going to attack a woman. Yeah, absolutely. There's a big difference. And I, I think here this idea that uh, by talking about a joke um, in the same conversation that we're talking about rape, that we're equating those two things, that's completely incorrect. Absolutely incorrect. Mm. But we're trying to have a conversation here about how do we uh, address this systematic issue that we're seeing across all classes in our society, across all industries, all sectors. Everywhere that we go, we're seeing this issue of domestic violence and gender-based violence. So how can we actually prevent that? And one of the key things we can do is look at, well, what are those causal root factors that are actually either motivating this sort of behaviour or excusing it? And therefore, what can we do to actually change that? Is it on the increase, Daniel, or are we just hearing more about it, talking more about it? And as I said to our last guest, uh, women are more um, willing to report stuff. It, it, in my experience, having these conversations and, and doing this work, we see waves um, of both the increase in reporting. I mean, most obviously, Me Too led to a lot of reporting as and you rightly we pointed out, people were afraid to do so beforehand and then feel empowered to do so afterwards. That's fantastic. That's really important. And we're also seeing a wave currently that's feeding off the, I believe, is feeding off partly all of the um, mental health issues, the insecurity, the uh, identity issues that happened for young people and older men during COVID and during that lockdown period, during the economic difficulties that we've had since then. Um, and then uh, really getting fed upon by a, a certain generation of really quite harmful social media influences. And that's led to an increase in some of these behaviours yeah. and these attitudes and led to a normalisation amongst young people in particular of some of the sorts of really misogynistic, hateful against women uh, comments that can be coming out. There it is.